Hi, welcome to another Visio training session. Um, this time we're going to have a look at adding text to connectors. Uh, if you haven't already done so, have a look at our website or on YouTube to see how you can add uh, text to different shapes. Also how you can use Control and Shift to pan around your document like I am doing here and also Control on the wheel on the keyboard to zoom in and zoom out. Excellent, okie dokie. Now, uh, first thing, what I'm going to do is make sure I've got the pointer tool selected. Now, why would you want to add text to connectors? Well, let's just pan down to this decision shape here. There's a decision. Uh, one way is uh, yes and one is no. But how do we know that? Well, you add shapes to the connectors. So let's just show how you can do that. Let's do the positive one first. I'm going to click once on the connector for yes. And literally, I use the keyboard to type in yes. That's it. Press escape when you're finished and you have the yes type there. Let's do the same with no. Click on this one here. Type the text. Click type just like you do with the shapes. It's important that we put the yes on the or the no or whatever decision that you're going to make on the connector. Now another question I always get asked is how do you rotate the text on the connector? Um, maybe I don't want the text to be on the line. Maybe I want to move it to the left or above or below the line. Well, this is how you do it. First thing I'm going to zoom in on this yes one here. I'm going to move it to the left and rotate it. The key to that is a tool at the top. It's called the text block tool. And now I'm using Visio 2010, but it will be similar on different versions. So I'm going to click on firstly the yes to select it and then click on the text block tool. Now armed with the text block tool, I can now go to this text and move it here to the left. The text is still associated with the connector. So if I move the connector or move the shapes, it will still be glued. They'll still move with the text will still move with the connector. So now I can rotate the text. So if I go up here and then just rotate the text around to this side here. Absolutely fantastic. We can see that the text is rotated. So what I'm going to do is just going to pan up by using the control shift key to the no. Uh, I'm going to click on the no part. Now because I've already got the text block tool selected, this no, when I click on it on that connector, is in text block mode, which means I can click and drag the no above the line there. When I've finished, I can go back to my pointer tool here at the top, and if I hold down the control key and use the wheel on the mouse, uh, I can zoom back and I can just click away so you can see yes and no. Thank you very much for watching and if you want any more videos on Visio or many other programs in which we train, please see our website www.computertutoring.co.uk.